Baker Bell is planning to add another work of art to our sculpture park. There are currently four different models of sculptures outside the library in the middle of the atrium. They are called Bee, Earthscope, Bird, and Bear. All Baker Bell Elementary students will receive ballots and will be asked to rank the sculptures according to which one they like best. Second best, third best, and fourth best. A committee of parents, artists, and teachers will review the ballots and decide on which sculpture will be built full size in front of our school in the Echoes of Nature Sculpture Park along the trails. Listen now to each artist explain his or her sculpture. Hi boys and girls, my name is Kelly Jones and today I'm going to talk to you about my sculpture that I made for the Echoes of Nature Sculpture Park at Baker Butler Elementary. Right here we see a beehive that I've built and it's a different kind of beehive. It's a top bar beehive which means along the inside there's all these bars that honeycomb is hanging down from and the bees are in here. We'll actually get to see them with the observation window. If we look over here we can see the entrance to the hive so we can actually determine how many bees come in and out with this sliding device right here. And you might be wondering, why did I choose bees? And what's the big interest in bees? Well, bees have been disappearing all across the United States. And in fact, in the past 10 years, we've lost over 30% of our bees. And approximately one in every three things that you eat has been pollinated by a bee. Albert Einstein said, if the bees disappeared off the surface of the globe, then man would have only four years of life left. No more bees, no more pollination, no more plants, no more animals, no more man. So this is a very serious topic. And I think that we could help. I think that we could help to save the world by starting small and having some bees and having some beehives along the Echoes of Nature Trail. And underneath, uh, the beehives would be underneath this large, honeycomb structure. This is a very small model. This would be about 10 feet in size. So when you look up, you would see the honeycomb shape. And you could think about how thousands of years ago, people thought that honey actually rained from the skies and that bees were the only uh, ones that could collect it. So man would rob bees in their beehives to get their honey. Anyway, I hope that you enjoy this. And I hope that you would be interested in learning about bees and maybe taking courses uh, on beekeeping at Baker Butler. My name is Roland Stanton. Um, this sculpture is what I call uh, taking flight with education. It's a tree that's made of steel, and on the tree will be seven birds. Uh, each class in a uh, level in, at Baker Butler will decide what kind of bird they would like to have and seven individual artists will make the birds work with the kids and make the, the artist will make the bird. Uh, this tree is approximately 10 to 12 feet high. It's made of steel. Each one of the birds will be made of a different type of material. Uh, it may be bronze, copper, uh, steel, could be almost any kind of metal. Uh, this bird that you see in the corner here is just a sample of a type of potential type of bird that could be, be, be made. This is a little hummingbird uh, that I made about a year and a half ago. Um, and like I said, the, the objective is to have each class participate in helping to decide what bird will be on the tree. Oh, the, the other thing is that the plan is for the top part to rotate uh, in the wind because the birds will act as a sail so it will, will have motion there'll be a bearing right at the top of the steel pipe and it will, will rotate in the wind there'll also be a peg so that you can keep it from rotating when it's a whole lot of wind <laughs> Chip, and this is the Earth Scope. So, essentially, what you're looking at here is a clay model of one of two Earth Scopes that we're going to deploy one here at Baker Butler Elementary School and one in Winneba, Africa. The idea is it's like an Earth telescope, but instead of looking up at the sky, you look down into the ground. And what this actually is, is a you can think of it as a uh, what you would see on the other side of the world if you were to look through this telescope. 
So this is actually going to be, so if, if uh, kids are looking through this, they would actually look and see what's coming out the other side of the telescope in a school in Ghana. So the idea is that there's going to be a camera inside here and a LCD TV here. This is 11 feet long. Um, and uh, what you're going to be able to do is you're going to take a picture of what it sees out the front, and that's going to be relayed to the people over in Africa. So it's actually a way to bring together uh, people here, people overseas, and uh, to be able to let you see into their lives and then to see into yours in a very unique way. Hi, my name is Ed Miller, and I'm here to talk about my proposal of my sculpture to be installed here at Baker Butler Elementary School. Um, what I have here is a model of a bear reading a book, and this is going to be done it's going to be about four and a half feet tall, and then the platform that the bear is sitting on is going to be about eight inches tall, and the students will be able to sit on the platform and read alongside the bear, and this is going to kind of create a special place for them to come and read, and, you know, it'll be real peaceful. And the other thing that I'm working on is a, another bear that will be made two feet tall, and I will actually make this here over a period of one to three days, and each class will get to come in and see how a, a ceramic bear is made. And they will, at the end, they will get to push their hands into the clay, and their fingerprints are going to end up being the texture of the bear. This is, um, this is fired clay, and the giant bear is going to be fired clay as well, with um, porcelain on the surface. And the second one, the, the students will actually make the texture. And this could be in the library or out front on the pedestal where the cow used to stand or wherever it could be suitable.